Hi everybody, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be editing these videos or not. So I was doing Leo right in the middle of it and ran out of recording room. My bad, I'm new at this. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to redo some of the material in case I can't edit them together. Um, and I'll sort of begin at the beginning with Leo. <laughs> so Leo, I was saying really nice things about you by the way. <laughs> I find Leo's fantabulous. Uh, very expressive, creative uh, sun signs. So my name is Krista. Welcome to my channel. This is the Radical Angel. Uh, if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm finally doing our sun sign series. Um, but if you're back, if you've been watching all of my tarot videos for the longest time, thank you so much for your patience. So Leo, let's not skip another second. You are ruled by the sun. Your keyword is um, I will, and your most likable trait is exuberance. Um, you're ruled by the sun. No other sign is ruled by the sun. There's a reason for this. You are the most joyful, the most creative. Um, not necessarily to follow through with anything, just in terms of um, inspiration, very inspirational sign, very easy to lift people up, very easy to see the positive in both yourself, a situation, and others. So I have some notes here that I'm gonna follow just for um, organization. And then of course I'm looking at my book really briefly here. Everything that I'm using for information is in the description box below. Um, I have not taken an astrology class by the way, so I wouldn't say I'm necessarily, um, I haven't been schooled in this. Uh, officially, but I have been reading about astrology now for over 30 years. So this is a nice little introduction. Consider it astrology or zodiac sign, sun signs 101. We're just looking at some basic qualities behind your sun sign. So Leo, your animal is the lion, right? Brave, courageous, exuberant, um, just exquisite as an animal, right? Everyone wants to sort of look at the lion. There's something exquisite about them. They're majestic. Um, chances are you're kind of obsessed about your hair <laughs> or have um, sort of a love-hate relationship with your hair or your appearance. But ultimately, you're okay with yourself. Uh, you are very, very confident. The Leo is very confident. So as I said, you are ruled by the sun. You're the only sign that's ruled by the sun as opposed to some other signs that share planets. Um, the planet, the sun, of course, is about life, it's joy, it's um, the reason that we have life on earth, it is nourishment, it's joy, it's fun, there's a lot of fun, I mean, fun in the sun, right? Um, your house is the fifth house, and this is what I was talking about briefly in the other video before I got cut off. Um, the fifth house so is... Uh, creativity and romance. So uh, one really important reason, for example, while why loyal Leos do well in long-term relationships is because of your attitude toward keeping the fire lit. You want to keep the romance alive, but this is natural for you. This is, it's no effort for you. This is exciting. This is the reason you have loyal long-term relationships is so that you can reinvent romance within the confines of that loyal um, partnership. So you're always gonna be seeking something a little bit more exciting, a little bit more daring, but within the relationship, you're generally a very loyal um, sign. Um, fifth house energy is all about creativity. You really like expressing yourself. A lot of actors and leaders of all kinds, um, political leaders, social justice leaders, um, even leaders within the home. If you're a Leo and you share your home with um, another sun sign, even if they're a Capricorn, which is a very strong personality, they will on some level have to concede to your exuberance. They'll probably have a power play in the very beginning and then find out where each of you stand and then you both sort of guard <laughs> um, your respective roles. Um, very carefully. But no one's gonna undo that for you. No one's gonna try to take away your creativity or the fire and you know this, this sense of romance um, that you bring to any occasion. 
Uh, the body part ruled by the Leo is the heart, unsurprisingly. It's, um, the, you're the life of the party, but it's because you go there with a full heart. It's because you already have the confidence. You don't need the courage in a bottle. You don't need, you know, if, if you're having a drink, it's for celebration. It's um, for mingling. It's not because you need that confidence. That comes naturally to you. Um, your heart leads you. You're easily led by the heart. It's easy to touch your heart right? Not necessarily in an emotional sense, but in a creative exuberant sense. And children are also recognized in the fifth house. It's very childlike. Um, there's a sort of a newness that you bring to you with you everywhere you go. You are able to look at the world or events through the eyes of a child. And while some personalities that you share your, um, environment with may find that childish. Um, I would consider that childlike. As long as you're not immature about it and you look at things as though they're fresh and new and really special, um, then that's the sense of childlike and that's extremely attractive. Um, your symbol, of course, is the lion, as I said. Um, very bold, very brave, courageous, and uh, quite beautiful. Your element is fire. You are a masculine fixed sign. So there's four fixed signs that you share um, that quality or modality with. You are the only uh, fire sign in the fixed signs. Basically fixed just means that you are not gonna change your mind very easily. You're pretty steadfast in what you have decided, which adds to your sense of loyalty, much like the Taurus, uh, which is the first of the fixed signs. Uh, but the fire, again, very energetic, very outgoing, um, easily inspiring other people, and just you maneuver casually and easily in really any settings. You have no qualms with being on display, as it were. Um, you're pretty comfortable being the center of attention um, and pretty confident there, even if it's in a casual setting. It doesn't have to mean that you're on stage or leading a political party. Um, your strength. So all signs have strengths and weaknesses. I'm just going to look at one for each sign. Your major strength, in my view, and very um, in relation to your dominant keyword, which is I will, is that is your willpower. You can see yourself and someone else through anything. You make an enormously powerful leader. You can help people into a new way of thinking or a new way of being and acting just by being inspirational, just by reminding them what they have inside or their true spirit, um, just by being yourself, leading the way. So in my view, your major strength is your will, your will to power, your will to get things done. Um, you also look for inspiration. Don't just think that, you know, you wake up and everything's hunky-dory. Sometimes you need inspiration, but this is something that you do willingly. And you look far and wide to find who inspires you. And then, like I said, you sort of fixate on that and then you internalize that and you go about behaving that way. So very inspirational. Um, as a strength. Your weakness can be somewhat similar to that. If not checked, everything can become all about you. Everything can be about center of attention, eyes on you, kind of no one else matters. So it's a really nice portion of your personality to temper. Just make sure that everyone feels included um, and that everyone else gets a chance for the spotlight if they want it. And they're probably going to be perfectly happy with you still leading the way. So you don't have to lose your position there. It's just maybe share the limelight. And in terms of your cosmic tie, you have a cosmic tie to, uh, I was going to say cancer. That's not true. To Pisces. It's not your opposite sign, but Le Leos and Pisces seem like they're on two different worlds, I mean, two different elements, um, and you're not even opposites. Like I said, your opposite side is Aquarius, and our opposites is where we have most to learn. Uh, but Pisces has a lot to offer as opposed to 
undoing. There's a self undoing that you um, might have to encounter or accomplish in your own life um, that has nothing to do with Saturn or return. There's just a sense of, you know, who am I really? Am I really just, just be sure you're not wearing a mask is the best way I would go um, presenting your cosmic tie. Um, as opposed to your opposite, like I said, which is Aquarius. Again, that's a fixed sign, but it's an air sign. This is all about, I'm okay with being in the spotlight. I'm okay with leading groups of people, um, being the person people count on. I'm comfortable in the sense of leadership, but it's less about the ego. See, Leo needs the ego fed. Um, the Aquarius needs to exert the ego. A uh, little bit different of a theme there. It needs to exert. So groups of people need to rely on the Aquarius and they don't really think too much about what people think of them. Um, which again, has a weak, there's a, could be a weakness there as well. Um, if, if it goes unchecked. The Leo needs accolades. They need applause. <laughs> they need to know that they are loved and they are doing the right thing. There can be some insecurity to Leo in that regard when it comes to your opposite. In fact, the Aquarius, again, in terms of strengths and weaknesses, this can be used against them. They care less about what people think of them, uh, which can be a good thing, but you know, if unchecked, that could be very mean. Um, Leo's on the other hand, you really need to know that people love you. And generally speaking, people really give you that feedback um, because you're such a lovely person to be around and have lots of gorgeous energy. Uh, you're very expressive. You really like telling other people and showing other people how much they mean to you. So it's very easy to like you. Um, and then attractions and your opposites. So I just spoke about your opposite sign, Aquarius. Uh, your major sun sign attractions are gonna be other sun sign, sorry, uh, fire signs. So Aries and Sagittarians, you're gonna find very easy to get along with. Um, some other key themes around your sun sign is your lucky day is Sunday. Your lucky numbers are eight and nine and your medal is gold. So those are some major but simple introductory themes around your sun sign. Do look for your moon and rising sign readings. Those are going to be next in this series. Until next time, Leo, take excellent care. Bye for now.